T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everybody, T-Man 978 reviewing Transformers Titans Returns Wave 1 of the Titan Master class people here. They all have the same exact packaging minus the faces right there on that little card in the front. But the back just looks the same because cheap. And I guess why waste time when they're just little heads. But anyway, I'm going to open these, play with them for a little bit, and come back and finish this review. First up, Mr. Terry Bull here, or Terry Bull. He's there with Adori Bull, but let me open him up. Here's Mr. Terry out of packaging with his quad barrel blaster tank right here, which is a triple changing gimmick situation. Only piece of paint on it on this side is that right there. The turrets can go up and down, but do not rotate. And how Mr. Terry is supposed to sit in there, put his legs straight, put his arms straight first, put his legs straight, and slide him in there. And I guess there's some controls there. Only problem is he is fully exposed and I don't know how that can give him a tactical advantage. And that's the disadvantage of probably most of these characters. Because they're just out in the open and can just get picked off by bigger robots. Anyway, take him out. Flip this over. Pull this out. Open these up. And now it's a in jet formation but... It can't fly on its own, because I guess it's just a little controlled drone. So you take Mr. Terry again, put his arms down there, slot his head in here, and his legs grew back there. And now he can control this, I guess, with his brain, because he's a Titan Master. They have a nice Decepticon logo right there. And Lord knows why it has a cockpit, because... He can't fit in the cockpit, as you can see. It's just right there. But they painted that. And I guess they just were as minimal as possible here. If you want to, it's not very secure. But you could sit them up here. Where it doesn't really look right with a guy sitting there. Meanwhile, there's a cockpit right there. Now, with that out of the way, here is a close-up on Mr. Terry. Only thing's painted is his face. He looks like he's yelling or angry. And he has a blue teardrop under his eye. Arm detail. Legs. He has a pin in the knee and it's like friction on the hip. Do this. And now he's terrible's head. And you can't really see the eyes too well. There's only that little bit of paint right there on his face. So I'm thinking, I, I can't even really see. Yeah, I could, in person I could see that it does have red eyes, but that's horrible. Let's try to change the light. Yeah, there we go with that. You can see the red a little bit. Here we see Terrible has taken over Blur's body. So, oh no, Blur. Third mode, shut these wings, flip this over, pull this handle out right here, and now it's a gun. I guess it has the four barrels down there, and I guess that's a barrel too. So you don't see the cockpit, you could put it like this under slung. But, of course, it would typically look like this. Next, Night Beat. Back in 87, 88, Nightbeat was an actual headmaster from back then. As you can see here, in his little Titan Master vehicle, if the damn camera will focus on him, is a jet that once again has a cockpit there, but has controls right there. So this is not practical again. All of these guys have faces on their back, which is also unfortunate. And back in the day, they had little covers that would cover that up. But it looks like this. <laughs> Not too aerodynamic, but what you're going to do is $5. He plugs in at the feet right there. What you're supposed to do is shut these. 
make sure this is pulled back and now we flip this up pull this up basically it's done it's a little drill tank thingy you can drill on the ground but there's one more step here's Mr. Nightbeat there's his face right there you can they only painted his mouth plate right there. You can see his chest detail and arm detail. Here are the feet. Friction once again on the hips and a pen on the knees. Fold him up like that. And now he's a headmaster for an Autobot or Decepticon. He looks like he's about to get blasted or I don't know, maybe he's happy. He looks like he's terrified, to, to be honest to me. You're supposed to cram his head into this little box right here. Which is difficult as I don't know what. But, ugh. You, you get the general idea, hold on. The directions don't tell you this, but I've rotated his head and that made it go in a lot easier. You're supposed to put the face under this. This right here, the clearance right there, that's what makes it tough. So I guess it just looks like a regular drill tank now. And maybe those are cannons or something right there. But there you go with that. I do like the silver paint on the side. So this is way more colorful than Terrible's little target. I mean little triple changing vehicle cool thing about these little guys and their play patterns people or figures that don't come with a little Titan Master are still capable of interacting with them you can ride wheelie right here and also wheelie didn't come with any weapons or anything now wheelie if he's teamed up with Nightbeat here he gets a little drill weapon that he absolutely can't hold because his arms are made out of some weak ass ball joints. Willy really kinda sucks. Link in the description. Once you get him balanced, Rewind does a better job. His arms do not flop over like Willy's. Here's Nightbeat on Blur and their blues are very, very, very close. I mean... Honestly, I think they're a perfect match, and they probably did that on purpose, even though this does not fit Nightbeat's body at all. Drill weapon, just in case somebody wanted to see that. Loudmouth. He has this little hover car situation going on, because there are no wheels or wheel detail or anything. Only paint details it has is this Autobot logo. And the black paint right there. The rest of it is just plain gray and red plastic, but it's not too bad. Loudmouth himself is pretty much fitting that same description. Plain gray. Or the Hasbro dull gray, I should say. I think this is the same color they use for Masterpiece Starscream. His head looks like that. Secondary mode to this vehicle. Flip it over. Bring these out like that. Well, actually, all the way down. Flip this up. Now we take Loud Mouth. Turn him into a headmaster. That's what he looks like. Yay, yay, yay. Now we take the head and put it into here actually flip it upside down there's a headmaster port right there or a titan master plug that there and now here's a secondary vehicle mode it's some type of attack shovel crane thingy it even has missiles right there next mode bring this like this this like that bring this down and now it's a gun I don't know if it's going to be like this for every figure, but that handle was very difficult to get into his hand. Like, it's kind of bulbous on the edge right there, so, man, I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's it for him.
well besides being on Blair's head that is the blue is kind of reflective on the little cheek part right there red back of the head but yeah do you like that I don't know finally crash bass it's a little chibi dinosaur raptor thingamabeb it reminds me of Soundwave's cassette dude I forget that guy's name but the legs kind of work as a lower jaw they even have molded in teeth right there which is cool but it kind of makes everything split apart when you try to open the mouth which I don't very much like the handle for the weapon mode can act like a cannon on his back and the little Titan Master arms move a little bit up and down right there and of course the legs they can hinge out like that on a ball joint and go up and down but the stability of posability is kind of lacking because he won't be stable back here visible dragon thing face so there's that transformation I have to basically move this down, move that down. Go ahead and let's bring this out. Spread this open and that open. Now take him out. He's pegged in right there. And now it's some type of, I forget what this is called. Like a kind of like a griffin type dragon. <clears throat> but Crash Bash is actually supposed to peg his feet right here into the tail of what is supposed to be a tail. Get in there. And I guess we'll hold on right there. So there's that right there. I don't know. I should have went to the weapon mode because that would have been easier. But since I came out of that let me show you the face which is probably the best face sculpt out of all these people kind of reminds me of Scorponok so I wouldn't be shocked if this is the head for Scorponok here he is on a body and there you go with that since this is simple to get back to weapon mode, which I should have did in the first place, open the arms, make sure the arms are straight out right there. And his head kind of plugs in. Actually, I'm putting it in upside down. <laughs> Turn his head backwards. And it plugs in right there. And you have to, like, bring the back up so that the mouth right there meets up with the feet. Well, that's like that. Move the legs back here out of the way and kind of fold this up you basically gotta fiddle around with it until it fits under that groove which is a bit tricky it doesn't stay pegged together too well as it's it's better than whaley but it's on the same line as his whaley basically move this back move the tail back put this here and this here put that down and now it's a tri-barrel blaster right there here he is being held by Willie. he can actually hold this one a little bit better but it just looks like a dinosaur on his back from certain angles you definitely have to look at it from this angle right there yeah these little guys are fun and I think Hasbro is very smart for coming up with this gimmick right here not only can they be used as headmasters, they can also be used as Titan. I mean, they could also be used as target masters. And they're just little fun accessory guys to put on your play bases and whatnot. But I think Crash Bash is my favorite. Nightbeat is the runner up. He has the best looking paint. Then it's Terry Bull and Loudmouth last. Loudmouth is the most boring out of all of them, to be honest to me. 
in both modes really. The little car this becomes is kind of interesting, but it's, yeah, he's, his little vehicle is the most boring. But anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like. Make sure you click one of the two videos that are about to appear up here. Make sure you, want, you subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. Comment, I answer comments, share. T-Man 978, out of here.